Hello everyone and welcome to another playthrough of Dark Tide from 2022. This is Fork by the Steering Wheel and today we're continuing here in our closed beta testing. And let's see. Start. I uh, can't uh, reach it with my uh, <laughs> controller for some reason. If I were to co uh, give this uh, some game some kind of critique, it's definitely that the loading time is very... it takes a lot of time for it. Hopefully I get into the match now, because I was thrown out the last time around. Fingers crossed. It's the first time that I'm actually a part of a, what do you call it, launching experience in this way. I, I, well, I have played betas in the past, like for instance, I played a beta for... Um, not Battlefield Gothic 2, but the the, the um, DLC I got to play the, the beta for. I read the beta for God of War 3. So, yeah. Uh, and as I said, this is recorded on a late Friday evening, so I am really tired, so I will be joining. Is this gonna be my whole com uh, complete uh, experience now? Disconnected from the server. All right. Well, then we can uh, create some more oper operatives. Then this time around, we're gonna get, create a preacher, nihilistic frenzy, and we're gonna be from uh, Shrine World. Yes, uh, Shrine Guard. Uh, Mobian Shrine Guard. The Mobian Shrine Guard are a religious fanatical Xenos hating militia sworn to defend the tenets and temples of the Saint Messalina to the death. Militia Lackey pressed youth to a planetary militia rarely achieve any rank. The most prolific of all officers, the Adeptus Ministratum is Saint Polisher. We're gonna go for Mobi Mobian Shrine Guard. Lowly Scribe. The endless chain of bureaucratic work of the Adeptus Administratum is full of tedium. Sorry, I have to change the seat. Uh, but also danger for the ambitious individuals will stop at nothing in their stru struggle for advancement. Many a scribe has lost their life in squabbles over a better grab lantern or a desk near a cooling, ice, uh, cooling unit. Isolated, arbitrary or bureaucratic decrees of the Adeptus Administratum can draft or displace the populace of an entire hab block, often for no discernible reason. Self-reliance, even the most civilized sectors of the Mobian domain are subject to the manner of threats from mutants, rogues, psychers, cultists and more. In the dog-eat-dog -dog world of the lower hives, everyone must find a way to navigate these myriad perils. Saw the light. Most zealous followers of the Imperial cult hold the deep-seated beliefs that heretics and traitors are infiltrating all levels of Imperial society. Sometimes it is even true. True calling. The cult Imperialists take many forms but all revolve around worship of the Emperor. It is only sanctioned religion in the Imperium. Pilgrimage. Pilgrimage is a, both a physical and spiritual journey that brings the ardent followers 
closer in faith to the holy emperor of mankind. A pilgrimage to a sacred site can take years to complete, taking their devout traveler far from their home world. Injured, since the age of strife, technology is neither trusted nor understood by most of the population. Most machinery is old and prone to often dangerous mishaps. I'm gonna go for saw the lights. Uh, defining moment. Encounter with an heretic. Since the Horus heresy, the enemy within, traitors and heretics and turncoats hold a special place of hatred in the heart of their loyal imperial citizens. No mercy can be shown for those who turn from the Emperor's lights. Strange artifact. The Adeptus Ministrorum, often known as the Ecclesiarchy, is obsessed with tracking down holy relics of saints and martyrs. Most turn out to be fakes with no value, but that doesn't stop a risk of trade in holy knuckle bones, mummified toes, saint, saint the tons, tonsures, and the like. Cult contact. When heresy is uncovered amongst a civilian population, it's not unusual for the suspicion of complicity to turn on the rest of the populace. The taint of chaos can never be underestimated, and before the unwavering gaze of the Inquisition, innocence is not enough. Mutated incident. <laughs> Whether warped by genetic de defect or chaos taint, mutants are reviled by the uh, Imperium. Most Imperial agencies teach intolerance of the mutant as a key tenant and see mutations as a curse that leads only to corruption. The sickness in the overcrowded haps and manufacturums of the typical hive disease can run rampant. The uncareable nobles often see such outbreaks as a call of the weak, knowing that there are always teeming masses of workers ready to replace the fallen. Man, this is such a... Uh, uh, depressing uh, view of the world. Hunted. Amongst the gangs and guilds that dominated the hives, transgressions are often punished by blood debts, which must be fulfilled on the pain of death. Those who attempt to flee their blood debts are pursued without mercy by gang and forces and or contract killers. The voices. Uh, the most occupations hearing voices would be considered a sign of madness. However, to some members of the Ecclesiarchy and the Scholastia Sucana, such, such messages are a source of inspiration, for they are perhaps a sign of blessed, blessed communion with the God Emperor. Uh, so either the voices or encounter with the heretics. I think we're going to go for the voices. Uh, body type. Um, faces. Well, we're gonna make him look uh, similar. I think I chose this one the last time around. But this one is gonna be blinded on the eye. Here's that. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go for this, uh, this here color. Uh, you can tell by the hairs that this game is not far uh, <laughs> close to being uh, cl uh, finished because it looks very half done here still. Facial hair. Well, I'm gonna keep it as it is. The same with the facial tattoos. Uh, no, the facial tattoos. Uh, let's see. The facial scarring, I mean. I'll go with this one. But the tattoos. This one. Scars. Uh, I think we're gonna go for short. He's gonna be compensating for his height. This is simply unacceptable. I am a chosen emissary of the master of mankind. I am not some common criminal to be shackled and tormented by jailers who, if I am to be kind. Hail from amongst the basest and most inadequate simpletons who clingeth like limpets to humanity's lowest rung. 
And as for my crimes, that hablock was steeped in heresy. Its denizens a wicked brand of apostates and ne'er-do-wells. When the enforcers refused to take action, what else was I to do? Yeah, that's a good Life question. without faith is mere existence beneath the all-consuming shadow of heresy. Without so much as a candle to hold that darkness at bay. It is the fate of some to pass from this life as mere kindling. Whereas mine is to light the flame. And I see that I am needed in this place at this hour. For is it not said that if 10,000 feckless souls burn in the flames of perdition to awaken the fervor of one righteous man, then the Emperor rejoices. Aye, it is. I think this is better than the first one. Let's see how the first one Without goes. hope, there is no purpose to revenge. Without justice, the wounded perish, and wicked prosper. For what is there to prevent these things? Justice, more than anything, was the gift bequeathed by the Emperor of mankind. And I shall see it carried to all corners of his Imperium. But make no mistake. Justice plays no favorites. Nor do I. The corrupt should fear me as readily as the heretic or the traitor. Life without faith is mere existence beneath without hope. Life without for the fanatic. Uh, sedition. Well, we're a believer, should not that. I think we're gonna go for insubordination that he like killed someone uh, because he wasn't a true believer and then we got punished for it. You were born in Crucis, a young age you survived the blood throne, bloody throne ritual to join the ecclesiarchy militia sect known as the Emperor's Scions. Initiates into into the cause were treated harshly, but your many hardships only tempered your faith and resilience. You were swayed by the Emperor's light by the words of the firebrand preacher, joining his personal crusade against the traitors hiding amongst the Imperial citizenry. One day the voice of the Emperor spoke in your mind and told you to dedicate your life to his service. It wasn't that you didn't get out of the way of passing magistrate, it was that you didn't get it out of the way quickly enough. That alone was enough to earn you one way trip to the prison ship the Tancred Bastion. You are aboard the bad Tancred Bastion en route to Atoma Prime. Uh, name. Uh, Baxler is gonna be the name. Uh, Comfort. You've come to learn, yes? The Psychonium is just the place. What? And they look so disgusting. Use this game do run special attacks to full advantage. You'll live longer. <laughs> this game certainly remind me a lot of uh, the other game they made. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Space Hulk. Well, doing these uh, tutorials all in once is gonna be much easier to learn the game. Pushing enemies is a very good way to avoid being overwhelmed. Push, push, push! Stun grenade. You have been stunned by me. Hopefully I get to play the game too. To defeat the heretics. No one said you had to play fair.
Okay, so we have a push. Stand still. If you stand still, the This is the most useless uh, of the training there is. Mind you, you're alive until it kills you. Make off and recover wherever you can. Uh, yeah, continue to advance training. I just have to look at this ogren. It looks disgusting. A pushed enemy is vulnerable to a counter attack. Enjoy it. <laughs> But I have to say, even Keep though it's a game, alive for as long as you can. Keep them healed, and maybe they'll do the same for you. Yeah, even though this game is definitely in the upper corner when it comes to graphics, it's still in a lower tire when it compared to many other games. So it's much better than you, the usual 40k games. But it's not, uh, not better than you, uh, other triple A games. You can revive your teammates, even the annoying ones. Come on, Brands. There is much corruption in Terra. Every time you fall, it consumes a little more. One thing's for certain though, I will not, I'm not the, the biggest fan of the, the preacher character. The Medicaid stations are everywhere. Alas, not all of them are working Search. properly. Help me please. Oh, it's so disgusting. So disgusting, mate. Alert your team to priority targets if you're feeling helpful. I never am. Oh. Sprint from cover to cover, it hurts less than getting shot. I'm told. Fighting heretics up close may be smelly. Go, go, but go, it go! go. You from enemy fire. Slide that down. If you're getting shot, shoot back. Suppress the enemy and drive them into cover. Out of garden, I am over here. Aiming was terrible. <laughs> we have now covered the basics, and you are very basic. Man, talk about being evil there. We 
gonna focus on this one. True happiness stems only from duty. So we fail to join the server once again. We like to use the word uh, letter X there, <laughs> I re re realized. Uh, maybe we need to make all characters then. Well, we're gonna create all of them. This time around, we're gonna make a Psyker. He's gonna be from... He's gonna be from Cadia. Uh, Progena, Orphans of the Imperium. Uh, Mich Militar uh, Militia Lackey, Defender. To be born, be born on a fortress world is to be indoctrinated into a militarized life at the earliest age. Upon such eight planets, the training and equipment of soldiers is paramount. Go for that one. Escape the wastes. It needs to appear to exact a heavy toll with a mass industry creating wastelands, vast dead zones that are often home to outcast mutants, but also attract settlers who dream of freedom beyond the hive imposing walls. Isolated. The arbitrary bureaucratic decrees of the Adeptus Administratum can draft or displace the populace. Are okay, self reliance. Forced by toil. Uh, we're gonna go for outcasts. Spell of Madness. Unsectioned psychers are considered to be the most serious threat of to the Imperium, and they are ruthlessly hunted. Some can go be pressed into service by the Scholastia Sucana, but for most, a darker fate awaits. Yeah, they're going to the being slaughtered at the throne. Declared a witch, unsanctioned psychers are rounded up and handed over to the Adeptus Astra Telepathica, where their fate is decided. Most are either selected for training by the Scholastia Psychana or sent to the black ships to feed the Astronomicon. That's the one I was thinking about. Black ships. Rogue psychers, often called witches, that are not slain outright, are either sent to the Emperor's table via the black ships or taught to control the powers under the grueling regime of the Scholastia Psychana. Mutant incident, whether warped or ge uh, by genetic defect or chaos taint, mutants are reviled by the Imperium. Most Imperial agencies teach intolerance of the mutant as a key tenant, as he mutations as a curse that leads only to corruption. Psychic Awakening Psychers, sometimes called witches, are mutants who use their mind to draw powers from the warp to perform supernatural feats. Many are blissfully unaware of the power within until they experience a psychic awakening, after which they are often shunned by society or even hunted by the Scholastia, Scholastia Sucana. Captured. <laughs> Citizens and loyal defenders of the Imperium understand that there are many fates worse than death. For some, there is no nightmare like being captured by cultists, rival gangers, or even foul Xenos. Whether taken for study, hard labor, or interrogation, the results are always grim. The voices. Um, I think we're gonna go for the Psychic Awakening. Body type. Uh, he's gonna be pale as hell. Uh, yeah, I go for that one. Eye colors is gonna be no colors at all. Freaky or it's gonna be red. No, that's is that violet perhaps? Or soup? Oh, th this is super creepy. Let's go for this one. Ah, oh, this one is available only from Cadia. Let's go for this one. Hairlines. Yeah, he's gonna be bald. Uh, 
have facial hair. Facial tattoos. Let's go for this one. But the tattoos. Let's go for this one. Scars. Oh, wait. Scars. Oh, let's go for this one. He's gonna be so not liked by anyone, but he's gonna be uh, tall too. Uh, short, I mean. I've dreamed many dreams before, but never like this. They're normally, well, they're normally nicer, with delicious food and flowers and comforting colors. Oh, and songs to warm the heart and lighten the soul. I like songs, but there isn't any music in this dream. Everything's loud and angry and has sharp teeth. My beloved insisted I am not to worry that the dream and everything within it will unfold precisely as it should. I'm sure it will. I should have known the enforcers would not tolerate me forever. My skills, they valued. But my nature, that they despised. I was a convenience, one who could glean truths they could not who could follow a trail of evidence like a shining path when all others remained blind to its existence, and all of it asking nothing in return. That I brought closure to the grieving and the guilty to the penitence pyre was my reward. It seems that no matter how low I set my expectations, it can always get worse. A lifetime spent in the mire, hiding from the witch-seekers and the bigots in the most desolate places the Imperium of Man has to offer. Forced to sell my incomparable skills to smugglers, hive-gangers, bounty hunters, and all their block-headed ilk merely to survive. Alas, such has always been the way for my kind. If we are not slain out of hand, dissected, drafted, or dragged aboard unmarked vessels never to be seen again. Oh, we have our chosen voice for our psyche, yeah. It seems that no. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go for this one. Misplaced faith. You were born in Cadia. Like so many, you worked in the weapons manufacturing for an early age between grueling work shifts. You trained to join the militia. As you came of age, you became subject to strange fits that sometimes had you speaking in tongues. It was not long before you were shunned by all who knew you. You became aware of your burgeoning psychic powers, or perhaps it was the insect of madness. Hard to tell. You were declared unfaithful by a famous deacon of Crucis. Most knew the charges stem from an audacity of questioning the deacon's lavish lifestyle. You were sent to the prison ship of Tancred Bastion all the same. Uh, let's see what's going to be his name. Uh, not something without not with X. Uh, let's, uh, no. Prostor. It's gonna be his name, Prostor. Oh, welcome to the Psychonium, little one. 
Let's make a soldier of you. Each weapon has its own unique attacks and special attacks. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this one. Definitely gonna like this one. Push enemies away to control the flow of combat. I was almost taken by the, the warp there. That was scary. Keep moving once the fighting starts. You'll be a harder target. Shoot me! Shoot me, shoot me! Come on, t tough and broken! You can't push through the pain forever! Shelter until you recover. Let's proceed to advanced training. Ammunition is survival. Make use of all that you find. Starting to learn here now. Leave no one behind. It's too much day to work. Welcome back, soldier. Corruption beats you. Drain. Eventually, it's cute. No! Keep your eyes open for Medicaid stations. They might save your life. your eyes and your noisy flapping mouth to warn your team of priority targets. Sniper! I am in 
get it! So the game crashed as is expected with the um, beta, beta games. So I don't think we will be able to finish the tutorial with him, unfortunately. Uh, but also, I think we're gonna end this video here. So uh, I'm sorry, it, it's gonna be a lot of tutorials here to begin with. Just to acquire myself with the, the characters is also a good way to get a good feel of the game. But uh, also, the, and the third thing is that I can't actually join any matches for some reason. It's, it's, so that's why I have to do this. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this. See you around, everybody. Bye-bye.